Hello, how's it going? Hello, welcome back. It's been uh, it's been more than a week since we last posted something here because uh, nobody wants to see me play PoE anyway. But uh, yeah, we have two new characters. This first one we'll be looking at is Jamal. I mean Jamil. <laughs> Sorry, I, I always memed around with my crew because I have one ex-crewmate of mine named Jamal. And we always make fun of him. <laughs> we, we And the, the funny thing about that is that I remember he, he liked this character too. So, <laughs> but yeah. So Jamil's very first SSR version, he is uh, Earth again, just like his original version. I think his original version is Earth as well. Right? Yeah. And then uh, he has 1260 HP and 9700 attack. Attack style, human, specialty dagger. All right. Uh, Idarcia. Idarcia? Massive earth damage to a foe and cooldown for exclusion. What is exclusion? Exclusion is 800% earth damage to a foe. Random debuff upon each cast. Boost to damage specs, number of debuffs increase, max 3. Huh? Okay. Earth. Okay, so lost hit earth damage to a foe, hit to debuff resistance. Stackable. Hit to accuracy. Okay, so these are down to 6 turns, right? Misdirection. Dodge all attacks from foes two times. Wow, that's actually fucking shit. <laughs> Stealth Assassin. Low defense, deal multi attack. So it's guaranteed double attacks, boost to charge bar gain into hiding effect. So it's similar as Silver? Because I think Silver kind of has that too or some shit. Who's who on arts? 20% boost to charge bar at the end of turn if Jamil it did not take any damage. Ari Ariwani, yeah, Ariwani, yeah. Trash. All right. Wait, is it full moment break? Nope. Trash. All right. So for this one, eight hundred percent. Uh, is six hundred thirty-five k base cap. Inflict random debuff. So boost the damage specs and number of debuffs. And then the damage multiplier for the first one is 800, then jumps to 1500%, and then to 2200%. So the 1500 goes to 900k base cap, 2200 is around 1.1 mil. Sure. Yeah. And then the, the debuffs. Wait, what? It doesn't mention here. So he has a delay as well, because he says up to 3, right? It doesn't mention here. The hell? There's a delay. He has poison, multi-attack down, and delay, but it's not- I don't see any delay here. Right? It's not mentioned here. <laughs> it just says random debuff. <laughs> so... I guess you can land all that, including delay. Oh, his multi-attack is 50%. Second skill is also the same. 635k base cap. 10% debuff resistance down, up to 30. He has 50, minus 50% 50 defense. Guaranteed double attacks and 55% base triple attack rate. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of new. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know if they do not have the numbers. 30% boost to charge bar gain. Not bad. Extra 30% charge bar gain. And then you get extra 20% if he if he doesn't take damage. Sure. So it's kind of weird that they, ne they never show delay here. Thankfully, uh, the, 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 the data shows it. So I don't have to rely on that one. Alright, so his EMP is... 2 charge bar gain, 1 dodge, 2 crits, 3 triple attacks, 2 defense and 1 HP. I guess I... I guess this is kind of straightforward, I suppose. Seems so, right? Just grab the charge bar, dodge, 2 crit, the rest put defense, I guess. Yeah. Just go into defense. I don't think he really needs the HP. His HP is kind of okay, right? Yeah. 1260 is not the worst I've seen. Worst is like 900-ish, man. So, yeah, that's okay. 
can get quite a bit from like rings and awakening so it's okay yeah so that's like five points so that's like 15 points i mean and then the last three you just split it between defense or some other shit i suppose i don't think he really needs attack either so that's cool he's just okay he's probably not the greatest there's probably a much better characters to go for anyway do you really need him for guild war mm, probably not he seems like a, a fun character to just have around that's pretty much about it and you probably might forget about him in like t-minus one day or some shit he, he is one of those very very few characters that is easily forgettable because he's very reliant on on ogi just so you can reset his first skill and there are actually a lot of times that I really do prefer that he automatically cast it in a way. So instead of ending Kuna, I would prefer just auto cast this instead of just needing to press it again. So it's kind of slow that way. But I think he's, yeah, he's, he's just mediocre at best. He's all right. It's just like, if this was like, how do I say, maybe in a... If he was released in like 2019 or something, he'll probably be a very nice character, yes. <laughs> but because this is in 2020, he looks very mediocre now. So this looks like a very, very dated kit, unfortunately. <laughs> but I guess that doesn't really matter too much because uh, we are only here for for uh, Ilea instead, right? We are not here for Jamil. We're here for Ilya, so uh, let's hop on to that right now. <laughs> I think that's 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 really all I can say about this character. He's just very kind of whatever. There's way better characters out there.